Hi everyone, Jeremy here from Vita Studio to do a quick video to share with you the infographic bundle sample that contains six different titles from the six best infographic pack available on our website. You can download it with the link in the description below and start using it for free in any of your projects. Also, if you like those kind of titles, we have a full bundle available on our website that you can purchase. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. All right, so you can download that bundle sample with the link in the description below. You will get this zip file, just double click on it to unzip it. It will give you this folder. In the folder, we have a couple of things. We got the license, the installation instruction, the ZRFX file, and the font. Please make sure to install all the font, otherwise the title will not work. To install the font, simply select all of them and then double click on them to start the installation process. You can then go over to the ZRFX file and double click on it. It will just prompt open this window asking you if you want to install. Just select install. And then once in DaVinci Resolve, you can go over to effect, titles, video to studio. And then here you will find bundle sample and you will have the infographic section, which contain those titles. We're going to start with the bar chart. So it's working with two layer, the first one being the background and then the other one being the bar overlay. So I'm going to start by bringing here that background in my timeline. I can extend it to fit the lens of my projects. And then I'm going to do the same thing here with the bar. I'm going to drag that above the first one and then I'm going to extend it to the same length. Now for each of those titles, there is a dedicated video that go into more depth so i will link to that in the description below where i'll go a bit more in depth with everything uh, that this title can do right now i'm gonna leave it like that but you can easily toggle between the amount of bar and the amount of value that you want to display uh, you can control every uh, single bar to the length that you want on the graph by reducing or increasing the length of that bar you can change any value here on the graph so you have the grid um, that you can adjust the number of line here you can make it a full grid there is really a lot that you can do with that combination right now we're just going to keep it at 12 bar and i'm going to leave everything as is if i'm playing it as you can see right now we're dropping a few frames but we're getting decent playback but i will recommend still to go over to playback and then here to render cache select smart that's just gonna bring that red layer right above my two titles that's gonna switch from red to blue and when it's fully blue that means that the title has been fully cached in and we're gonna get real-time playback it can be really useful if your computer is not powerful enough or even with a pretty powerful computer those titles that have so many moving components can be pretty taxing for the venture resolved process but right now as you can see we're getting a real-time playback at 30 fps right now then let's say that my voiceover is indicating a specific range here let's say july to september i could then use the highlighter sample right here to just highlight that fact so i'm gonna just bring that right above here and we're gonna adjust it to position it right here so i'm gonna go to control and then i'm gonna bring the center here to the right and then i'm gonna bring it down you can adjust easily the width if you want to make a bigger selection or if you want to make a tighter selection. Same with the height. Right now, for example, the height, I'm going to make it slightly tighter. And we can also adjust the border width. Right now, we'd like to have it slightly thinner. So I'm going to do that right here. Perfect. And now I'm going to make sure that it's fully centered with the range that I choose. Now I'm going to extend my highlighter. And then here, I'm going to bring finally uh, another one to finish that composition, which is the infographic finance. And I'm going to drag that right above here. I'm going to make sure that it's covering the full length of my composition and we're going to go and place it in a corner. So here I'm going to use the size and position and I'm going to put it right above here. And I'm going to place it right here in that corner. So first I'm going to start with the background. Right now by default it's blue, but I'm going to switch it to the same color as my grid right here. So I'm going to take the picker and I'm going to select exactly the same color right there. And then I don't want a gradient, so I'm going to switch from horizontal to solid color. And it's just gonna here give me a solid color. We're then gonna switch here the text from SP 500 index to company profit, for example. And then here for text two, we could put any value uh, that will correspond to that data. For example, here, like an increase of 10% for 2024. And here we go. That's how we've been able to create that composition within a couple of clicks. Now let's move on to the next one. 
Then next, we have a value counter infographic that you can drag right above your clip. Right now, for example, it has been made to display calorie, but you can display any value you want right here. Let's say first we want to replace uh, that properly on all frames. So here I'm going to just resize it slightly and then I'm going to displace it to the right side and I'm going to frame it here on uh, the sky because the background is unified by a gray sky. So I'm going to reduce the size a bit more and we're going to bring it right there. Right now, obviously, we're displaying calories, but we can replace that for any value we want. For example, let's say we want to instead uh, do the kilometers that this guy has been running. What I could do is simply here go down to icon and then I'm going to select browse and I'm going to upload my own icon. So here I'm just going to upload that icon of someone running. Then here I'm going to switch color burn, for example, to something like until arrival. And then here in the final number, we're going to switch to, let's say, 23 kilometer. So right now, as I'm changing this final number, we don't have any suffix. So here in suffix, I can add km for kilometer. But you can also add a prefix if needed. So here you can add minus, for example, or anything you want as either a prefix or a suffix. Another thing you could do, for example, is here you can put out of something. So you can put a slash and then put, let's say, 50 kilometer. And then here we can reduce the overall size to make it fit in our circle. And then you can adjust the circle scale to just match what you're saying. So here, if that's 23, that's about half of it, a bit uh, less than that. So we can go around here, for example. And then finally, we also have uh, an infographic progress bar that you can drag in. Here we can extend it to fit our composition as well. And we can do our change for this one as well. So here I'm going to adjust again the size and position. I'm going to put it here to the side. We can change the value to whatever percentage we want to display. Here it's 85. We can switch that to, let's say, 55. And automatically here the value will change as well. You can also change where that value is placed. For example, if you want to add it at the beginning here of the bar, you can do that. Or if you want to add it exactly where the bar is finishing, as well as the animation timing in length or here the animation style. For some of them, you might have also a few other options, like for example, the shadow or the glow or even the perspective for this one. It might not be the exact same one for each of them because they are have all been done at different stage in our journey of making titles for DaVinci Resolve. Some of those assets are like three or four years old, where some are more recent that we made in the last couple of months, for example. They are all functional and very helpful, just they might have difference in their functionality and the way you use them. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Hope this video was helpful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in a comment what kind of video you'd like to see next, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videoeditorstudio.com.